Hello, hello. Okay, we are here waiting at the B Hotel bus stop. We're gonna go to Epcot right now. We have had such a fun morning. We got up, we went out to the pool here. As you, if you would have seen yesterday's videos, you know that we really wanted to go to the pool yesterday and it started raining on us. So this morning we got up, had like breakfast in the room, all relaxed, then went down, swam in the pool. It was so, so lovely. is really nice we are very impressed with the bee resort so we did that and then it started raining <laughs> and so we like literally got out of the pool and it was like one of those things just like yesterday where it skies were you know bright and blue there was like one dark cloud in the distance and that was the cloud that was coming for us and it was like instantly like we made the perfect decision we got out of the pool like right before the sky just like opened up and it was like, downpouring so we were able to get out of the way get back up to the room get ready and now the rain has stopped it still looks a little dark out in the distance but the rain has stopped and we're gonna head to epcot i'm really excited really looking forward to today we're getting hungry um it's definitely what time is it right now it's now 1 so we need some like late lunch early dinner Food. Food. <laughs> we're not sure where we want to go. We're gonna talk about that know, here. And we don't know if we're gonna do like maybe make a reservation somewhere or just do like a quick service either at Epcot or one of the Epcot resorts. But yeah, let's go. So this is the little bus stop thing here. Let me show you so you can see that's the front entrance of the B resort. And then they have these brown couches right here that you can sit on, which are very comfy as you're waiting for the bus. And then this is some information about the bus schedule. So the buses depart, let me see, it says every 30 minutes, beginning one hour prior to park opening, including extra magic hours. And they have, um, we're on route A, so that's this whole side of the street. And then route B is the opposite side of the street, which is a little confusing because this is the B resort, but it is on route A. <laughs> Okay, we just got inside a Crowley restaurant. Just got all checked in for our reservation. I said, look at this behind me. I feel like this needs to become like an Instagram wall, like this kind of shell rock work wall that they have here. The theming in here, it's very like calming and serene, like the whole under the sea feel that it has to it. I love the lights and everything. All the tile work. It's very, very cool inside here. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm crossing my fingers. I really, really want to sit by the window and get to have the view out looking at the fish. That would be so awesome. But still, wherever you're seated, you have like a pretty like good straight shot to looking at the aquarium. Yeah, if you watch my videos, you know that anytime we go inside of like the actual Seas Pavilion, I just get so excited because sea life fascinates me. I just find it so amazing. So a restaurant like this is right up my alley. <laughs> Okay, our host just said we're going all the way down. Oh my goodness, I think I see our table. I think we actually sat here the last time. If they're gonna set us right here. Oh, I got my birthday wish. <laughs> Thank you. This is so I got my birthday wish to be by the window. <laughs> Still my birthday. Oh, here's my button. <laughs> Yeah, this is so perfect and it was one of those things like as we were coming in because Disney's really very very good about if you ever have like a request for a certain table they usually always try to meet that and so I was about to request that we sit by the window so I was actually going to like say we could suggest like we say you know can we wait and sit by the window but we were all so hungry I was like we're just gonna gamble and take whatever table they give us and it just so happened to be this one like how perfect is that <laughs> So here's a little look at their menu. It is such a cute menu. And here we go on the inside. We have the specialty drinks and cocktails up here. Moving into the appetizers. New England lamb chowder. I always love that. That sounds really good. Here's the entrees. Oh, snow crab legs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is going with the New England clam chowder and the Caesar salad off of the appetizer menu. Okay, so we placed our orders. I'm getting, we're actually all doing something kind of off the appetizer menu of getting like a soup and salad. So I'm getting the New England clam chowder. I love New England clam chowder so much and a Caesar salad. And it's funny, I don't know where we were yesterday, but I saw like a Caesar salad or something. I haven't had a Caesar 
salad in a long time, but I was just like craving. I was like, that looks really good. So this will be a really good meal. Get my clam chowder and a Caesar salad. And mom, you're doing kind of like lobster bisque. Lobster bisque with the Caesar salad. And dad, what did you end up going with? You're doing Caesar salad and lobster bisque. Lobster bisque, yeah. So we're all doing like a little bit of a soup and salad combination here. And I'm just so happy we're sitting like this couldn't have worked out any better. Yeah, sitting right next to the um the feeding the feeding. Yeah. and the divers are gonna come down and throw out the chum for the fish <laughs> as soon. So we probably get to see that. Yeah, he said that it happens between three and four here and it's yeah, it's currently um two forty two and so yeah he said somewhere like in that so that's good to know because it's like it's an all time like you know, yeah it's not like it's at noon or at dinner time. So this worked out perfect that we're doing our late lunch and it happens to be when they're gonna do this fish feeding here, so that's gonna be so cool to see the divers and it's just so epic. <laughs> this is incredible. It's like, oh my gosh, you can see the sea turtle back there swimming. Oh I love this. Is that in there? Is that a um one of the stingrays? He has like a really long tail. I just saw him like in the crack there. Oh yeah, look, it's the stingray. And you can kind of see the tail of Luna sticking up. In there. Oh. She's our biggest uh, black watch stingrays. She oh. fills up the entire yeah, space of it. Yeah. Kind of that out. is so cool. She'll come out when it's feeding time. Everybody comes out and pays a visit. What's her name? Luna. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Her name is Luna. I love that. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Cool. Oh, look, there goes a ray, too. So, our waiter just. Oh, there's a shark. <laughs> I'm about to, like, I have a thought, and then I'm like, look at this, look at this. But yeah, our waiter just said that that's Luna up in there, that stingray that we were looking at. How cool is this? Oh, that stingray's fast. Oh, I could just, like, sit here for hours. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. So our waiter just brought us out the bread and he said this bread is actually, they roll it with mashed potatoes before they bake it. So I'm really interested to try this. It looks really good and they brought us some fresh butter. Oh yeah, it'd be like a potato roll. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try with that butter. Okay, so our food just, that was like extremely quick. I guess since we all got appetizers, it came out really quick. So we got Caesar salad here. Here's my lobster bisque. Mom, you got the same thing as Caesar salad, but then you got the um, lobster bisque. Did I say that for mine or I said, my, I'm clam chowder. Yes, I'm all confused. I'm clam chowder, your lobster bisque. And my dad got the same thing over there, the lobster bisque and Caesar salad. <laughs> Oh, here comes the other one. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so cool. So our meal, no, this was absolutely delicious. We need to come back here more often. This is just so cool. It's so peaceful sitting here watching. I just, I have to insert this picture. I wanted to get a selfie with like the next time a shark or a stingray swam by. And there was this, I think it was a shark. It literally looked like it had the front of it look like a stingray, but the rest of it looked like a shark. I hope he comes back and, oh wait, oh my gosh, hold that thought. Look, this is that stingray that they said is the biggest one they have, Luna. This is Luna, oh my gosh, she is massive. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I think it is gonna be feeding time here soon. That's what they said. He just said it happens between 3 and 3.30 and it's currently 3.12. So it should be about feeding time right now. <laughs> Give it back to my story. So I was trying to take a selfie with this, but I got like too excited. <laughs> my face is like half in the selfie because I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> But yeah, oh my gosh, Luna, she is so big. Like, I kept thinking that maybe she had moved out of there and I'm like, oh, that one's pretty big, that must be her. But no, it's like you knew that was Luna. She's like double the size of a standard stingray. Oh, look, here comes another stingray. Hi, come here. Hi, sweetie, come see me. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, look at you. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm now 
best friends with the stingray. <laughs> I absolutely love him. Look how sweet he is. I love that he just came and he's just like hanging out here with us. <laughs> he's smiling. That looks he like a smile. is. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yep, this one's 5.7 million gallons. Wow. Uh, the Atlanta uh, the Atlanta Aquarium is 6.1 million. So it's the second largest in the United States. So this is the second largest in the United States. Second largest aquarium. But I don't know if they quite have as many. Thank you for coming. Yeah, they don't have a restaurant bye here bye. and get that every next day. And they close at like 5 o'clock. Yeah, because my grandma lives in North Georgia and I've always tried to stop by. But this is so awesome. So they've started feeding them. You can see the divers in the tank. What a cool job. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. There's some more divers coming in. Look at all these fish. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at them all swarming her. Wow. What a cool job. <laughs> They're all like, I want some, I want some. And you and then in a few minutes after they get done with this green they come by with a green clipboard, lay down here on the bottom. Lay down here on the bottom and then stingray swim over the clipboard and they Wow. They usually try to pick a spot in front of the tank for all the guests. It never gets old, no matter how many times it's Wow, that's amazing. Mm. This is so cool. How sweet is it? They just brought this out for my birthday. It's like a little chocolate mousse. Oh, it's warm. It's probably like a lava cake. Oh my gosh, I'm celebrating. It has a little seahorse. Oh, this is so sweet. Well, so that guy's kind of like that too, that he almost looks like a stingray in the front, but then the rest of him is like a shark. But he's not the one that I saw earlier. I want him to come back to us. This is just incredible. I'm so happy that we came here today. Oh, look, he's petting that stingray. That guy up there, the diver. The stingray just swam right past him and he gave him a little pet. What a cool job. Oh my gosh, look at them. Amazing. <laughs> hey, little fishy. All right, we just left the Coral Reef restaurant. I am so happy we decided to go there. I was just like, that is my element. Like, that is my type of thing. I love any type, anything animals pretty much, and anything sea life I find so amazing. Like every time we go inside of the aquariums in the Seas Pavilion, I always say I could just spend forever looking at the fish. So this is just right up my alley to be able to eat my meal, watch the fish. I am so glad, because we were debating. We were like, do we want to go to France today or go to the Coral Reef? And I said as we were eating in there, I'm like, we made the right decision. I'm glad we came here. That was excellent. Was delicious. Yes. yes we've, been to, we've been to it all of our meals this trip. Oh yeah, they've been so good. There's been times where we're like, eh, but <laughs> these have been all very delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, we made some good choices so far this trip with where to eat. I was excited when we walked out to town. I was like, I don't think it's raining anymore, but it's still, it it's sunny, great. but it's still just like that little, every once in a while, a little spit of rain will come. I'll take this. this but yeah, good. this is good right now. And it's not super hot anymore. It's like a comfortable temperature. It feels good. 
feels good though coming out of the air conditioning and it's like, yeah, it's definitely still warm out. I like it. Here's the mine, mine, mine birds. Mine, mine, mine. I want them to say it. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> They're moving their little heads. It is now time for our soaring around the world fast pass. And now it is time for living with the land. Look at that. Perfect timing. This all worked out with like such perfect timing. This is a ride that I hope stays in Disney forever. I love living with the land so much. Like Epcot's people mover. More birthday magic. We just got row one. Everything is so pretty and tropical in here. 